tonight I am bringing you the hair requested tutorial that all of you have been wanting which is my hot set so underneath this delightful turban is a bunch of hot rollers I hope that you enjoy this hot roller tutorial I'm sharing all the tips that I use to cultivate my coif hairstyle which is just a beautiful page boy a mix between the 40s and 50s so if you'd like to see how I do that then please come hang out with me There's going to be a lot of different hair tools that I'm using tonight and if you're interested in learning a bit more about them like in depth I would recommend clicking on this video over here or just looking down in the description box because it will be noted that way you can check it out and learn a little bit more about why I choose the particular tools that I am using and how it helps me to continually cultivate you know, a pretty nice um, coiffed look out of my hair. So the first product that I use, and remember, I have fine hair. This is going to vary if your hair is a little bit coarser or thicker than mine, but I always choose a dry shampoo. Like I said, you can learn a little bit more about all the products that I'm mentioning in the dedicated hair tools video, which will be in the description box below. So the Perk Up Dry Shampoo by Amika is a really great dry shampoo because it doesn't build up oddly in the root of the hair, meaning it doesn't tend to produce a lot of the white cast that you can get from dry shampoo. And what I like to do is spray it and massage it into my scalp. And I do this throughout my entire head. So if it's your first day set, you're definitely going to want to use a little bit of dry shampoo in the root, even if you have fuller hair or thicker hair, because it just adds a lot of texture and gives your hair a little bit more grip, which is super important because you want your hot set to stay. The other thing that I really like to use, especially if you have finer hair, is the Pureology Wind Toss Texture Finishing Spray. This is fantastic to, again, add texture to your hair, which creates more grip. And I just simply spray that through my hair. After those things are done, just give your hair a nice little brush through to help distribute those products evenly throughout your hair and the hair shaft. That way everything is as even as possible. So I like to use my Cleopatra rat tail comb. Any rat tail comb will work. But what you wanna do is go ahead and part your hair the way that you want your hair parted in its style. No, technically you don't have to do this, but in my experience, I have found that this really helps when it comes to the brush out. So because I'm doing this video in two parts and the brush out will be released next week, I wanna show you guys just how to cultivate an easier way of doing the brush out. So I like to part my hair down and across to the side and to the side. And then I'm just going to clip this out of the way. So I kind of like make a little bun and I'm going to start the process from the top of the crown halfway back and then I'm going to do the sides and I'm going to start alternating. I am using the Conair Hot Rollers. These can be purchased on Amazon. That's where I bought mine. I do have a blog talking about my hot tools and there's a direct link in that blog where you can go and check out the Conair Hot Rollers that I particularly use. Now I purchased three different sets so that I could get the amount of curler sizes that I needed. I love this size right here. It's actually half an inch. The other size that I use and will be rotating with tonight is this size, which is three quarters of an inch. This set itself comes with half an inch, three quarters of an inch and an inch. I don't ever use the inch sizes, so I've just kind of tossed those to the side, which is why I had to buy three sets so that I can get the amount that I need to do a full head of hot curlers. Everybody's hair um, width and length will depend on how many curlers you need 
in your hair at any given time. If your hair is longer, you might need more. If your hair is finer, you might need less. If your hair is thicker, you might need more. So you really are going to have to play around with it to find the exact number of hot colors that you're going to need for your hair. Um, I place anywhere between 25 to 30 in my hair at any given time. Now for the top of my head, I always start with the biggest curlers because they're going to be laying smoothly over the back portion of my hair. The product that I'm going to be using to protect my hair from heat tonight and to help hold the style is the Redken Iron Shape 11. Now, I really like this product because it's a lotion setting spray. It does not contain alcohol. So if you're worried about your hair products having alcohol in it, this is a safe one to get. However, I will say that there is a necessity to having a hot set spray that has alcohol in it. Alcohol tends to dry down tacky and it will hold your hair better than a lotion setting spray. I think it really just depends on the climate in which you live in. So I'm a little further back from the camera and hopefully that means you can see my hair better. But I'm just grabbing a small portion of hair which is from the top portion of my crown. And you really, the trick when you're hot rolling your hair is you want to make your section no bigger than the hot curler is long. So once you spray your heat protectant or setting lotion into your hair, that's when you grab your hot curler. You wanna start at the very, very ends of your hair and you want to roll the ends in and downward. So this is creating volume because you're going on top of the root, which in hair term is called on base. The reason that you wanna go on base is to build that volume. The hot curlers and hot sets really build that glamorous volume to the hair, unlike a wet set. A wet set can build volume, but it's not as easy to come by as a hot set. Hot sets and wet sets are different, and I promise that I'll be doing a video in the near future talking about the differences, pros and cons of both, and why I like them for different particular reasons but you're just gonna feel where this hot curler is and you're gonna slide your fingers underneath that portion of hair as best as you can. You're gonna brush it, get out any of the kinks or snags or tangles. You're gonna spray your hot setting spray. Make sure you get the ends, because the ends fry easily. Comb that through, grab your hot roller, go all the way to the ends of your hair and come all the way down on base. So on top of the root, grab the butterfly clip or the prong, whichever your hot roller set has, and attach it to the hot curler in front of it. So what I mean by that and what I like to do to try to keep my hot sets as neat as possible is the prong, and I told you guys this was gonna be a very in-depth like very detailed um, tutorial and I really wanted to do that just because that's how I learn and when I teach lessons I try to give as many pointers as I can because I feel like that's the most helpful so I'm sorry if this is kind of boring to you if there's any parts that are boring please feel free to like fast forward and if you found a bit of it boring please let me know in the comment section so that I can avoid um, conversations that just kind of draw on in the future but when you are working with hot curlers you're gonna either have a prong or you're gonna have a butterfly clip. If you have a prong, you can connect that prong to the roller that's in front of it so that the rollers literally sit right next to each other. I find that this creates the most room for curlers on your head, but it also creates the most unified body. So now I'm going to grab another section behind those two larger ones. Now I'm going to put in the half inch. Again, I'm going to bring the hot curler all the way to the end of my hair and I'm just gonna roll it. Now what I like to do in particular, because the prongs for the half inch sizes are so much smaller than the prongs for the three quarter inches, I actually will use a three quarter inch prong, slide it underneath that half inch hot roller right into the three quarter inch hot roller. 
Now, once I got pat, once I get past that, I will go back into using the right size prongs. But when I'm lining up a smaller hot curler next to a larger hot curler, I tend to use the larger prong to hold them close and next to each other. And I'm gonna make sure that those ends are really tucked in to this curler. Another way that you can make sure of that is to take the end of your rat tail comb and just kind of wrap it around the hot roller and make sure those ends are seamlessly tucked in inside. That's a way to keep any fish hooks or wonky kind of weirdness going on with the ends of your hair. You do want your hair to be tightly rolled up underneath of the hot curler so that you get a really nice roll to the hair. That's what's going to help you in your brush out. If you don't do that, believe me, you're either gonna have to re-roll your hair, which sometimes happens, because hair is different every day, or you're gonna have wonky looking hair. So keep practicing until you get really good at making sure those ends are tucked in tight. I will say that your haircut really helps shape your hot sets and your wet sets. I have cut my hair into a vintage U shape. If you want to see that video, it will be in the drop down menu um, for you to check out. So with these two hot rollers, I've used the right size prongs because I'm lining up the same size together. I'm going to now switch to the half inch underneath this three quarter inch size. For that, I will go and I will use the three quarter inch prong to connect those two. But once I switch back to using the half inch roller, I will use the correct prong. So you'll see here in a minute. I'm gonna use the three quarter inch prong. So you can see right there. Now I'm going to do the section right underneath. So the one thing you just want to try to do is always keep it out and then come up and down. That's what I find creates the most volume. When I first started, I'm not going to lie, I did have a couple, especially when my hair was really long, and I explain all this in my um, vintage haircut video, but I would roll like from the bottom straight up. and. I, it, what it did is it just created ringlets. I still got a nice curl, but it wasn't as voluminous. It like, didn't have the body and the volume that I wanted. Okay, so here is the back of my hair. I've got all the curlers in. Sometimes you can feel when a hot curler is wonky, and at that point, you might wanna go ahead and fix it as best as you can. The one tip I can say is that you want your hot curlers to sit as close to the scalp as possible. That's gonna give you the tightest curl. So I have a couple more tips before I finish all of this off. When it comes to the crown, this is attractive, isn't it? When it comes to the crown section of the hair, I always will take my rat tail comb, section off another piece, trying to keep the line on my scalp as straight as possible. Then I will spray this. You always want to spray with a setting spray and roll this back. So one of the things that I want to say, and I'm going to try to do this on screen, these ends right here, these ends right here, you want to put them down into the hot curler with your fingers. Use your thumbs to guide the hot curler down onto, whoops, onto your scalp, okay? 
give it guidance, that will help. Now I'm gonna re-roll that just because me trying to show you guys got a little got a little piece out of there. So I'm gonna do this again. So again, you're gonna wrap it around as best you can. If you've got a little bit of layering in the front, use that rat tail comb to kind of smooth it out. And then you can use your thumbs as a guidance for that hot roller as it comes down towards your scalp to kind of keep the ends in place. Now, here is my secret to doing my S wave. Everything on this portion of my hair, and it's just three rollers, is going up and down, except for this section, this one small section. I'm gonna spray it. This one small section is gonna go up and come down the opposite way, okay? So that this, this middle hot roller is coming up and in, whereas this one was coming up and down. So they're meeting together, kind of like think of two hearts, where they're meeting together like this. Once that curler is released, the way that it sits in the hair is going to help cultivate that S wave shape. It's something that I do to just make life a lot easier because the hair just sets in opposite curling patterns. So it, because it's sitting in an opposite curling pattern, one's going one way and one's going the other way. And I just find that that, ooh, ooh. and I just find that that is what really helps cultivate the S, S way shape and it just makes life so much easier. You don't want to put your hot rollers in and spend all that time rolling it, which usually takes about 15 minutes. Once you get into the groove, depending on how long your hair is, how it's cut, and how many hot rollers you're using, it usually takes about 15 minutes to roll it. You need to give it at least 25 minutes minimum to set. If you can give it 45 minutes to set, that is the golden time that I have found for my own hair. I think that's going to change based on everybody's individual hair strands. But anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes is what you wanna let your hair cook at. That's going to really set the curl, keep it in place. The longer it has to bake, set, and curl, the better the set is going to hold throughout the day, whether you're facing inclement weather, heat, cold, frizz, whatever. It just really helps set that curl. So in the meantime, you can curl up with your puppy. You can smell some of the flowers. Maybe your boo has brought you something beautiful. You can clean, you can tidy up, you can look extra glamorous just lounging on the couch, reading a book, or even enjoying a nice cocktail. So we will be back in the next 25, 40 minutes. However, the video is going to take a little bit more time to come out. It's going to launch next week. So if you all are loving this video, please leave it a thumbs up, comment below, tell me what the favorite thing that you loved learning from this video. Let me know if my instructions and guidances were helpful to you, what you'd like to see in the future. If you have not become part of the Glam Fam, please subscribe and hit the bell notifier so you will never be left out and you'll always know when I post something new. I post new videos every Friday at four o'clock. So next week I will be showing you the brush out process to the rolling that we are doing right now from this set that we have done tonight. So I hope that you guys are having a fabulous day. If you want to keep up with me, see behind the scenes shots, just learn a little bit more about me. All my social media handles will be down below. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic and fabulous week ahead of you. Again, thank you for just spending your time with me. I love you guys so much and I will be hanging out with you all very soon. I film. It is like Super sauna, it's super sauna in my beauty room. Come in here if you wanna lose some weight.